And we're live. Welcome to the 33rd Sprint Review. Uh, I, glad to see you here. Glad uh, I, after seeing so many of you in real life, it was amazing to be in East Denver, which is really uh, just to dive into it for the Sprint Review for me at least. It was all about East Denver. Uh, this It was so cool to see so many of the trusted seed out there and meet so many of you for the first time. Uh, I, I really went out there to to promote the idea of microeconomies, especially the common stack vision, and also to uh, hire. We were hiring like mad, met lots of contacts, and met lots of cool people. Uh, the big stuff that I did last week was mostly getting ready for these talks. Uh, I, had a, I was on main stage Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It was pretty incredible. Uh, the, the, I gave a talk at ETH Denver about the biggest a Web3 opportunity that no one is talking about. Spoiler, it's public goods. And and, it, and the fact is that we can actually make money in it. That was my main mission with this talk is to say, it's not just about donating. Actually, we can create value and be rewarded for that value. So uh, I gave that talk and the even uh, the more common stack talk that I gave was at, at Shelling Point on Thursday. And uh, I was very excited about this where I really break down uh, that concept of scarcity economics, abundance economics, and regen economies uh, as, as a, a source of, uh, of funding for public goods and how they can become shelling points for, uh, for public goods for, uh, um, missions, which is super cool. Uh, I also, uh, there's, I, uh, there's two videos that still are yet to be uploaded. I also hosted a talk on Saturday about public goods being good, how public goods are good. And then on Sunday, I had the pleasure of being a celebrity judge. And so I got to sit next to um, Chewbacca Vitalik, uh, the, the Buffy Corn Vitalik version uh, and for about three hours and uh, ask a bunch of questions to all these cool hackers that are building amazing things. So major shout out to John Poller and, and the whole organizing crew, especially Danny, uh, who Danny actually got me all these slots on main stage. So uh, so much gratitude there. And it was so nice to see uh, Tam and Livia. And really, I think it was like the first time ever that Tam, Livia, Jeff, Jess, uh, Lorelai, Chris, uh, the other Chris, uh, like both Chris's and and um, and Dan were all in the same place. It was pretty cool to see like the whole common stack OGs all in one city. Uh, and uh, yeah, but with that, I'll pass it to Tim. Cool. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm going to talk more about uh, ETH Denver. Uh, first, I guess I want to say, you know, Christopher and Max and Livia aren't able to join us today. Uh, and uh, well, we look forward to seeing them in our next review. Um, so ETH Denver, there were some, it's a really amazing time actually, it's true. Uh, Dan and Jess and Jeff and Chris and Livia and I and Griff, like everyone was uh, together again and that was really neat. Uh, we spent in real life time, a lot of in real life time with Jeff, uh, Jess and uh, Zargum, a lot of other people from Block Science like Chris and Will, uh, Joshua from Medigov and many, many others. Uh, I got to meet many people that I'd only really uh, interacted with. Uh, on Discord and in Telegram for many months, and we had to spend, uh, and other people who get, were able to spend time with and get to know better. So I thought ETH Denver, the tweets in ETH Denver were really wildly successful. And then um, from the perspective of things that I'd love people uh, to know about, uh, the Public Goods Coalition panel was uh, Lauren Luz, Kevin Seagraves, James Waugh, and myself, uh, Jessica Zartler, of course, was the moderator. It's a really nice panel. We're talking about Regen Legos and how all of our different projects fit in with one another uh, in order to, uh, to support public goods. Uh, Livia isn't here, so I'll um, show her talk on, uh, wait, where is her talk? <laughs> uh, here, uh, cultural build or framework for self-actualizing economies. Uh, it was a really great talk that, um, I think a lot of people in the, that resonated with a lot of people in the audience, uh, definitely encourage checking that out. And my talk about uh, getting stewardship right 
in DAOs. Um, really the big point that I wanted to make there is like leadership is actually crucial. Uh, decentralization doesn't mean distributed. Uh, there is going to be leadership in all DAOs and getting that right is the difference between a successful and a not successful DAO. Um, and from TEC, um, there is just a few things. One, I haven't been in meetings for two weeks. So this amazing archive of all of the meetings of TEC is so important uh, to be able to go catch up. And I discovered that I just love watching TEC videos. So now I understand why people come to our community and say that they've watched like 10 or 15 or 20 videos. It's just really great to listen to it streaming in the background when I'm doing something else. So I really appreciate this, this uh, TEC archive archive. Uh, and other things that are important to put on people's radar is um, the Token Engineering Fundamentals course. Uh, the sign up is available. So you can sign up for this course. Um, I'm dropping a link in the review notes so that um, if you want to have a closer look at TE Fundamentals, uh, which is a bachelor level program for token engineering. Um, they're going to kick off in Q3 of 2022, so there's still plenty of time to do it. Uh, Angela wrote a really nice uh, Twitter thread uh, on the importance of token engineering and um, launching this, this um, program. Uh, and with that, I will pass to Ivy. Thanks, Sam. Um, uh, okay, so let me just explain the sprint name. Uh, this time, the so sprint 33, we call it, uh, Sam and I call it uh, going the distance. So going the distance is an idiom that means to achieve one's goal or, or to complete something or per persist on a path until it ends. So it has been used in a uh, literal sense in horse racing to mean to uh, run an, an entire race. While in boxing, it means to be able to box for an entire bout without getting knocked out. Um, so you know that the uh, past sprint, some of our team members uh, went to distance at Eat Denver and represented the common staff throughout the event, which is a very uh, proud moment for all of us. So they gave their talks about micro-economies, -ec DAO culture, and public goods. And uh, we'll be sharing the links with the recording of their talks in the description uh, below. And while the, while the rest of the team um, managed to complete the task we planned for the past two weeks, especially the second edition of the Trusty Project Showcase, which um, I think Maria will talk about later. All right, so in comms, we, uh, we wrapped up the Commons Month campaign on Twitter. So we shared new content from our organizations like Crypto Commons Hub, uh, Circle Sweeby, and Disco Coop. So um, check out our Twitter and uh, give us a follow <laughs> if you haven't yet. And then while uh, during Eat Denver, the Trusty Seed Gardeners, uh, Maria and Dinesi took over uh, common staff Twitter. So they shared um, live updates and um, live streaming links. So everybody can watch, everybody could watch uh, the talks from the common staff team. And, uh, and after uh, Eat Denver, we uh, also uh, shared uh, the links to the recordings of their uh, talks on, uh, on Twitter. And then on the legal side, I got in touch with uh, Raphael Bauman to uh, get answers to some legal questions we have for the trusted seed and uh, how we can move forward with the uh, association. So um, that's it for me. I pass it to uh, Maria. Thank you, Abby. I'm happy to have, again, almost all the team. <laughs> we are getting there. Um, but yeah, this past week, we had the Trusted Seed Project Showcase back for February, and it was great. I mean, I was so inspired by Pythagorean uh, presenting Web3 for Life. I will share my screen because um, this project is already on our YouTube channel. And, uh, and you can find it on the Common Stack YouTube channel. And, um, and yeah, the Web3 for Life Guild is a guild aiming to increase the region capabilities of altruistic communities. And it was great to find out the, the next step for them is a lot of um, alliances that they need to, to, to collide <laughs> for, it to, to, for, for their goal to to become a reality. So if you want to collaborate with Web3 for Life, uh, please go with Patagorian uh, on Discord and find the Web3 for Life uh, guild 
on Twitter because they are doing an, a great job. And with that, <laughs> I'll pass it to Dina. Guillaume, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Well, for during this sprint, uh, I'm going to just say some nice stats from the trusted seed side. So we have had six applications since uh, uh, the start of this sprint, as I said, and uh, just one activation. So we are now 341 active members right now. And as usual, my invitation is for you is to apply, to apply, okay, apply, 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 apply. <laughs> activate your membership to be part of this great community of 341 and plus for you if you apply, <laughs> trusted seed members. So don't forget to claim your swag if you already claim, activate your membership and need your POAP. So with that, I will pass it to you. Do, 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 do. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> I'm a little bit lost. To you, Osama. Go ahead, Osama. Hi, guys. Uh hope you are doing great uh this past week uh, i was working on different things um i've been working for uh, on writing and reviewing tweets for our comments month and for newsletter as well so we had been posting a lot of comments related content on twitter uh make sure you follow our twitter handle um secondly i was writing the descriptions for our youtube channel and make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and i also did a, a small research on uh, augmented bonding curve uh, for what article but uh, but it will be posted uh, afterwards uh, with that uh, i will pass it to mr griff yeah i'll pass it to tiago okay thank you griff thank you hi everyone um so happy to be here again um this sync i have a synchronization with Austin from Windham Foundation to establish some uh, the contract uh, that was finished. So uh, we will have the token transfer. And also for uh, the next steps were defined for the Regen Foundation and Common Stack partnership. Um, so looking forward for the next sprint to work with them. Um, so I guess the last one now, a message to Griff. Did, did it, can I get to go? No, yet. Okay, so we started, okay, we started this sprint with a submission or rather distribution of a common stack review that sprint uh, 32 teed up. Now, the thing about that is so far we have only 40 views and only two likes. So I'll keep saying this. Try as much as you can to drop on a common stack um, YouTube channel. There's so many videos. You know how Tamara was talking about the scene, but lots of the videos of TEC. Well, this is an opportunity for you. Just drop by. There's so many videos. Uh, that you get to watch, you, you get on the YouTube channel and you just, you don't want to go again. You just stay there. There's videos from the past AMAs, there's video of the talks, there's video from everything we've done. It's videoed and all on YouTube. So you get to see that. Now, one thing again that we did uh, during the last spring that was quite exciting was the announcement. I think they're the announcing that uh, Livia Grieve, um, uh, Tam, Jessica would be at Eve Denver. It's our top tweet for last sprint. Like it, it had so much action on that. We had 26 likes, two quote tweets and five retweets. So it's the top tweet. And so excited to see how all of you engaging with our content. And um, let's look at what the analytics looks like uh, during uh, the last sprint. We have... Um, let me see. We have 1,009 impressions per day during the 12th period. So we have in all, in all 22,600 impressions over the period in review. And each day we have 1,900 impressions per day. And that would mean that if we break that down with everything we've had in analytics with last sprints, we're getting 3.6 um, engagements per day. And uh, the announcement that Grave, Tam, Livia, and Jess will be at Eve Denver 
guess what? Has an engagement rate of 3.5. That's huge. So thank you guys for coming and showing love on our Twitter handle. What we're saying is move that love as well to our YouTube channel. And also thank you so much for turning up on our LinkedIn pages and staying active all through. We appreciate all you do. And with that, I'll pass back to Grief. Thank you, Kenny. And thank you all for uh, checking out the 33rd Sprint Review. You know, we always, I always do this at the end. We, we take a lot of credit for a lot of people's work. The Common Stack is really a community. Uh, and there's so many people who are making this all happen behind the scenes. Uh, so this is where we have the praise wrap. Uh, so praise Rodri for doing all the design work for my talk and Levi's talk and making all of our talks so beautiful. Praise Al Jean for all the behind the scenes work keeping me organized and doing and keeping everyone organized in East Denver, doing all the logistics and the planning, helping us book Airbnbs, all these things. Praise Kevin Awaki, Simona Pop, uh, and Simona Pop for organizing Shelling Point. Praise John Pollard and Danny Osario for organizing East Denver. And praise Chrissy and Jonathan uh, and the other, other, the rest of the crew that were holding down the stage and the recordings and doing all the work behind the scenes to make uh, all the cool talks in Denver uh, shine. And uh, praise Lauren, Alicia, Eugene, uh, and Eugene for joining me on the Public Goods Are Good panel. It was a good talk. Can't wait to see it up on video. Uh, praise Tam for the, uh, or, sorry, praise praise for the, the whole Public Goods Coalition panel, specifically Lauren Luce, Kevin Seagraves, uh, James Waugh, the Fire Eyes James Waugh, and Jessica Zartler. Uh, praise Zeptimus for all the transparency work, building an archive of videos that we could all watch in the TEC. Praise Angela and the TE Academy team for all the educational work that she's got going on. So excited for the next round. Praise Zargum, Chris, Will Wolf, Joshua Tan, Ellie, Akai, Chris, and Dan, for, and all the other people that uh, Tam got to meet in real life. Uh, praise uh, Raphael Bauman for the one-on-one -on -one with, uh, with Ivy on all the legal matters that are uh, on the trusted seed. Thank you so much, Raphael. Uh, praise, and praise Rodri for doing all the graphics for the East Denver tweets. Praise Pythagorean for presenting Web3 for Life Guild uh, at the Project Showcase. Praise Max for all the valuable sessions on aligning our goals for the trusted seed. Praise Christopher for all the rewards work that he's been doing behind the scenes. He couldn't be here today, but Christopher is really killing it on the trusted seed dashboard on the uh, and on the reward system work, which should go live this sprint. So that's exciting. Huge thing for us. Praise, praise Max for uh, also stewarding the trusted seed and helping make sure that everything goes off, uh, is, is going to go well. And uh, thoughts and prayers to all the, all the people that he knows in Ukraine which, uh, that is going through a tough time right now. Uh, praise, uh, praise Austin and all the Regen Foundation folks for drafting and completing the contract for our partnership with the Regen Foundation, so exciting. And praise all the heroes who like our videos and subscribe on YouTube. That's right, so uh, if, if you uh, please like this video, if you if you found it entertaining and subscribe to us, make sure you don't miss all, all the other ones. Uh, thank you all so much. It was a crazy week in real life at uh, East Denver, but uh, we've re we're recovering, we're still recovering. Uh, I'm still recovering at least. And, uh, but hopefully we'll see you at the next conference. And if not in the next sprint review.